Hello everyone, welcome to this video presentation about introduction to safety instrumented system SIS. The first topic will be on the industrial disasters. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Industrial disasters. We will go through an overview. What is industrial disaster? Oil and gas production facilities, chemical and petrochemical industries and power plants operate with petroleum, gas, several chemicals which are prone to hazard. Industrial accidents are some of the most unfortunate as they often result in personal injuries, damages to the equipments. Accidents in the plant can also put employees out of work or out of a job depending on their nature of injuries. Industrial accidents are commonly the subject of workers compensation claims and cases. So here we are seeing two fo pot photographs. One is the refinery which is under normal operation. The plant is running with a steady state and production is going on. And second picture what we are seeing is an uh, accident, industrial accident, wherein there was a fire on the refinery. Uh, here we can see fire engulfing from the plant and different uh, units of the plant and we are seeing some fire extinguishers being used to extinguish the fire. Also we are seeing one more tank which is under fire. According to safety experts, there are three basic causes or factors that contribute to accidents in organizations. They are chances of occurrence, unsafe conditions and unsafe acts on the part of employees. Actually accidents do not happen by itself. There could be some error, some mistake which could have been done by one employee knowingly or unknowingly. To avoid industrial accidents, it is important to understand the different common types of industrial accidents and then apply necessary cautions. Okay, we will go over the elaboration of the accidents. Some accidents are minor and cause injury to the workers. They don't get big uh, damages to their uh, body. It is only causing minor injuries to the workers. So, these are the few examples. One is lifting. Many employees are prone to sprain, strain or tear a muscle by virtue of lifting an object that is too heavy for them to lift on their own. Uh, the workers or employees, they need to do lifting only up to their capability. If the weight exceeds their capability, there results in a small accident. Or fatigue. Failing to take a break is another common cause of accidents. People working in the uh, outside environment, harsh environments, either hot sun or harsh weather, wind or dust, they have to be very cautious and take in intermittent breaks in the shade, under the shade and then get back to the work. Otherwise, they may get into fatigue. Dehydration. This is a loss of water in the body. Uh, people and workers in the plant, in the outside environment, they have to take regular water and to keep them hydrated always. Poor lighting. Inadequate lighting leads to accident. The work area and the offices should have adequate lighting. The lighting is poor, there are chances of getting into accident. Handling hazard of hazardous materials like oily greases, toxic chemicals handling. The people who are working in the plant in the industrial area, they need to wear gloves, hand gloves and safety boots always when especially whenever they are handling hazardous materials otherwise some chemicals are very toxic in nature and then damage their hands they touch it mistakenly acts of workplace violence there could be some minor misunderstanding between some employees and they make it into quarrel which has to be avoided trips and falls it's a slipping due to any barricade, scaffolding and falling from heights. 
there could be some scaffolding or some barricade in an area where work is involved so the workers need to take proper care stress physical stress that the employees undergo it is either due to their duties or due to their personal uh, circumstances they have to be take uh, careful in all the above cases the workers in that particular job or task gets minor injuries to them okay we'll further go into the detail some accidents are major and cause injury or death to the workers and equipment damage accidents in an industrial site or production facility which are very severe in nature or categorized as major accidents types of such accidents are chemical spill or leak explosion radiation leak building collapse gas leak mass poisoning and industrial fire etc the accidents happening under this category are known as major accidents which cause severe damage to the plant as well as the personnel in the early 80s and 90s there were number of such chemical industry disasters happen around the globe so uh, i have just li li listed out few over here for our understanding one is in halifax explosion in canada it happened in the year 1917 and uh, the nature of hazard is explosive chemicals damage and it resulted in 2000 people's de death and bhopal in india it, uh, it is it happened in the year 1984 it's a methyl isocyanide glass leak which resulted in 3500 people's death and uh, next one is chernobyl in ukraine it, the uh, accident happened in the year 1986 it's a nuclear power plant explosion due to wrong operation wherein hundreds of people died and next one is in sandos switzerland it happened in the year 1986 there was a chemical spill resulting in hundreds of people's death and another bsf plant in germany it happened in the year 1921 it's a ammonium sulfate and nitrate spill happened which resulted in 600 people's death and uh, another one is in philips texas in the us it happened in the year 1989 it's a polyethylene reactor fire which results in hundreds of people death it's not only causing the death of the people but the area surrounding to the plant gets severe damage because this during these such accidents severe several chemicals gets into fire and gases leaks and they spread around the uh, surrounding environment of the plant which causes uh, inhalation issues and uh, several other issues to the people in the environment so uh, it has to be taken care to avoid such accidents uh, glimpse of industrial disasters major industrial disasters calls the attention of the plant management given an alert to take more precautions in future and they are getting published in the magazines as well so we are just seeing two examples over here one is in bhopal india gas tragedy which happened in the year 1984 it which a methyl isocyanate gas leak see this has been published in the magazine and another one is in philips texas in the us it which happened in the year 1989 it was a polyethylene reactor fire that resulted in an explosion we are seeing the explosion and then gas engulfing around the plant area so it which has happened in the year 1989 this also caused a lot of damage to the people surrounding that plant area how do you know and how do we go for a solution for this disasters and solutions to major industrial disasters if not all most of the accidents are preventable by careful design of the plant safety systems can be improved in the early 80s and 90s safety systems were not well planned and plants were not equipped to handle such major accidents control systems were not robust therefore it was one of the direct cause of those accidents 
better designed and more dependable control systems could have prevented or significantly reduced the severity of accident. Hence, safety instrumented system SIS was evolved. Now we went through the industrial disasters about the classification of minor injuries, major accidents and uh, we came to know about the different type of accident that involved in the plant and so one of the system is plants are getting installed with the safety instrumented system so we will be discussing in detail about this one in the forthcoming topics thank you